Hello there. My name's Card. I'm a long-time progressive community organiser and activist. And today, I just want to briefly talk about a reactionary dog whistle that's been around for a few years now, as well as what it really means, who's using it, and why. For those who might not know, in politics, a dog whistle is a word, a phrase, or a symbol which seems perfectly innocent and innocuous to most people, but which really communicates a more sinister hidden message to those in the know. Additionally, there'll also be a playlist of videos of mine, linked at the top of the description, which goes into detail about all sorts of dog whistles and how to spot them. Today, specifically, I wanted to talk about the word toxoplasmosis, and how it's become a contemporary reactionary meme and signal, particularly in online spaces. In short, toxoplasmosis is one of the little coded terms internet reactionaries use to describe or label people they don't like. It's a reference to a real type of parasitic disease which occurs in a wide range of warm-blooded animals, but is particularly associated with domestic cats. But there's something of a pseudo-scientific conspiracy theory that circulates among the users of a lot of right-wing image board websites like 4chan and 8chan, which claims that if you contract this disease, toxoplasmosis, from a house cat, one of the conditions you'll present one of the supposed symptoms of this illness in humans, is rapid onset insanity. Now, see, this cat-born insanity illness is essentially the new way the online far-right has reinvented the crazy cat lady stereotype. And in their minds, the archetypal left liberal woman fits a particular unmarried, lives alone with just her cat sort of mould. And online misogynists believe that it's the cat's that have made so many women crazy, which is basically the circular way they rationalise their misogyny in the first place. The alt-right thinks that the modern woman is bad because they eschew trad values or whatever, and that means they'll get a cat. And the cats are making women worse, they believe. That's what online allusions to toxoplasmosis boil down to. It's not necessarily the most subtle reactionary meme in the world, but if you don't know what it means, it might still be easy to overlook. So, if you ever happen to see the word toxoplasmosis being used to describe someone online for seemingly no reason, at the very least, now you know the reason why. It's a pseudoscientific term straight from misogynistic women-hating incel forums and the like that's used to attack the imagined lefty chick archetype that a lot of guys online seem to live in constant seething fear of. As with any dog whistle or obtuse reactionary internet term, it does help to be able to spot these sorts of things so you can suss out any online situation properly, which you can only do if you know what these sorts of terms and bits of iconography mean in the first place. That's all I have to say today. I hope it helps. Once again, my name's Card. If you might want to hear more from me, especially more about emerging or obscure reactionary dog whistles and how to spot them, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube page or just take a look at my other videos. Either way, goodbye for now, and stay safe out there.